Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to my kitchen. Today's video comes from an idea from Teal House Farm. So my husband and I were watching her video and she was talking about eggs and breakfast. And we have a little spin on her recipe, but her recipe is an amazing one. I've never seen one like it before. And I hope you check out her channel. She is so close to reaching her goal. Today we are going to make eggs in muffin cups. I don't know the typical name for them. You just have to follow along and watch me. Now I am gonna share with you her video right here under my description box and at the end of this one so you can see how she does it. Now we're going to follow her recipe but we're just going to do a few things a little different. I wanted to share with you this is all about using up eggs and use what you got. This is a whole series that I'm working on all kinds of egg recipes from homemade egg bread to casseroles using eggs and today for muffin cups for freezer cooking. This is a freezer cooking recipe but I want to share with you, how can you tell if your eggs are good or not? All you have to do is put your eggs in a bowl of water. If your eggs stand on end, that means they're still good, but they're a few weeks old. If your eggs are down on the bottom and they're laying sideways, that means they're fresh. And if they're floating, toss them out. That means they're spoiled. We have all of our eggs here. We are gonna be using 14 eggs. 14 eggs, yes. We're gonna use 14 eggs and then I'll show you as we work along. What it is, we're gonna put bread in the bottom of a muffin tin. We're gonna mix eggs and a little milk. We're gonna add peppers and onions and bacon and cheese. And it's gonna bake in these muffin tins. You can use them and you can take them out of the muffin tins after they're baked and you can wrap them and you can store them in your freezer and you can pull them out and have an instant breakfast and it sure did look really good on her videos so let us give it a try now she had a lot of helping hands i don't have that many helping hands but i have two extra hands hubby's going to help us do some things here because he thinks this is going to be a most amazing recipe and he loves eggs and we're going to feed this to our children when they come on a weekly basis my home is always filled with my grandchildren and my children. They always stop by and I always have breakfast or a lunch for them. So this would be great to pop it out of the freezer. You can put it in the microwave or you can heat them up slowly in the oven. So this video isn't forever in a day. I'm going to crack open all these eggs and then I'll get back to you when we're finished. And remember, always save your eggshells. Here's where we're adding a little bit of a twist to her recipe. She added some bread and she broke it up and put it in with the eggs. We are going to add the eggs. We're going to add the bread to the bottom of the muffin tin. So what we're doing is we're going to cut little rounds and we're going to put this in the bottom of each muffin tin. Do not throw this away. I will use this for stuffing an egg breakfast casserole coming up here real soon. So we're just cutting and we're putting on the bottom. She made a biscuit dough, but we're gonna try it with the bread like this. It's so much easier and I think it will be just as filling. So I have to go ahead and cut all these rounds. And press them down the bottom of the muffin tins. I'll get back to you when I'm done with this. All right, hubby's gonna mix the eggs and add a little milk to it. Are we putting the vegetables first or the egg first? The vegetables the next. Vegetables first and then the eggs on top. Okay. What about the bacon? I have it right here. You want more milk? Yeah, that's plenty. All right, so I guess what? We'll just, we put some of the uh, bacon, I think she put bacon next and then the vegetables and then the cheese and then the egg. You want bacon in all of them? Uh, might as well. 
Everybody around here likes bacon. So like like that? Yep, just sp spread it out a little bit. Well, it's good. Is that too I wouldn't go too much because we, have, well, no, we, have we, we need room for vegetables and cheese and then egg top. All right, so now we're just gonna take a spoon and put some of our peppers and onions on it and then use the back of your spoon to push it down. I use the finest setting to dice up these peppers. You wanna see if this is done right? You think that's done right? I used about a spoonful and pushed it down with the back of my spoon. All right, time for the eggs. That's good. That's about it. So it's about a half, three fourths of a ladle. Not more than half. Oh, half of a ladle. About half. Now that will puff up when they bake, so we don't want to make them too full. I think that's about right. It's what it looked like on her video. We've never made this before, so this is a first for us. But let me tell you what, it sure does. It sure looks good. Smells good. Mm -mm. Bacon, veggies, bread, egg, and cheese. Cheese will go on top. All right, I'll get back to you when we put the cheese on. Cheese, please. All right, now we're adding the cheese. All right, as you can see, we have been eating them. Hubby says they're amazing. So let me take one out and let me try it. All right, let's give it a try. Mmm. Definitely not too much bacon. What do you think? No, that's perfect. It is amazing. The rest of them are in the oven. This is great. And you know what? It's meal portions. So you could have one of these for breakfast and you would know exactly how much calories you're eating. Mmm. Mmm. That is amazing. They are amazing. That is perfect. To Laura at Teal House Farm, thank you so much for this amazing recipe. I hope you check out her variation of it. And I hope that you tell her that Tessie sent you. Come on, she only needs a few more subscribers to get her goal in January. Let's do it for her. Take care everyone, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Oh, don't forget her videos down below and right here at the end of this one. Bye everybody. Mm -hmm. I might have to eat a couple of these. They are amazing. Mmm. Definitely worth the work. Oh, yeah. Mm mm. Every once in a while, at the end of my videos, I'm going to showcase another channel. Amazing mothers and amazing wives, and Laura is one of those people. She has a large family, and she is the most amazing mother I have ever had the enjoyment of watching in videos.